Greetings, everyone, and welcome once again to the Baptist Bread Devotional and Scripture Song Broadcast for this uh, fi uh, third day of October, Monday. And today's topic is titled, A Minority with Jesus. Amen. So before we get started on all that, I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world, and hope and pray that he's your Lord and Savior today. If not, well, he wants to be, and he wants to save your soul and wash away all your sins, so I hope you'll call upon him to save you. Amen. All right, so we're going to start with today's scripture song, which is from Psalm 115, verse 3. So press play and sing along with Brother Dean and Sister Patty. Psalms 115, 3. But our, but our God, God is in the heavens. heavens. He, he hath done, done whatsoever things what pleased. Our God is in the heavens, he had done whatsoever he had done, whatsoever he had pleased. But our God is in the heavens, he had done whatsoever he had done, whatsoever he had pleased. Our God is in the heavens, Whatsoever he had done, whatsoever he had pleased. But our God is in the heavens, he had done whatsoever he had done, whatsoever he had pleased. Amen. All right, so we'll put that back to. Uh, yesterday's and we'll do those again towards the end of the broadcast amen now it's time to get into today's topic for october 3rd today is monday and the topic is titled in a minority with jesus and the passage is luke 12 32 and it says fear not little flock for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom luke 12 32 and today's author is tm that would be the initials for, I believe that's Tom Malone. All right, so yep, Tom Malone, and he is deceased, gone to be with the Lord. He was from Pontiac, Michigan. So before we get started on the topic, let me uh, give you a little context of what's going on here in Luke 12. So Luke chapter 12. And let's see here, verse 32. Let's see here, 32. All right, so... So verse 31 says, But rather, seek ye the kingdom of God, that's the spiritual kingdom, and all these things shall be added unto you. And then he says in verse 32, Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. And then verse 33 says, Sell that ye have, and give alms. Provide yourselves bags which wax not old, a treasure in the heavens that faileth not, where no thief approacheth, neither moth corrupteth. Uh, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So, amen. So I'll give you a little context there, Jesus speaking. All right, so let me get you in this topic here. So, Brother Tom Malone writes, he says, You don't need to worry about being in the uh, minority. A group went to Canaan, just twelve. They came back and gave a report, and ten of them said, We can't take it. God said they could. Ten said they couldn't take it. Uh, two said they could. Josh, uh, Joshua and Caleb said, We can take it. They were the minority group, but they were right. Amen. Uh, listen, there was a minority group when uh, God said one day, I am going to destroy the world with a flood. Old Noah had built an ark, and do you know how many he got to go into the ark? He got his wife to go. I don't think she had a choice in the matter. He just said, Now, I am the head of my home, and I don't care whether you want to go or not. Get in there. <laughs> I'm not sure that's how it happened, but <laughs> it's all speculation. But, uh, hey, um... Go, had to go where her husband went. Uh, don't look for that in the Bible. <laughs> but he got her to go. 
I don't know whether she really wanted to or to go or not. Hmm. Uh, he had three boys, and he said, Now, boys, you are going to do what I say as long as I am your dad. So into the ark they went, and all of them had a wife, and in went the wives. This, that is all that ever got into the ark. Thank God, when he comes to reign, the little flock will reign with him. So the Bible says, don't fret or fear. And that's Psalm 37, 1, 7, and 8. So let's look at 30, Psalm 37 in these passages here. So Psalm 37 and verse 1 says, Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. Right, and then 7 and 8. So 7 says, Rest in the Lord, and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of them uh, who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger, and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. And then verse 9 says, For evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. Amen. So, and you can keep reading on to that. So I just want to give you an extra verse there. Amen. So there you have it. Uh, let's be in the minority, minority with Jesus. Amen. So good uh, advice there. And not be part of the majority, but the minor, minority. Amen. All right. So that's the end of the Baptist bread. And now I'll go ahead and read you the um, boots on the ground topic for today so let's uh, get there and this one's titled no wall of division for this third day of october and this event takes place on october 3rd 1990 and the passage is ephesians 2 14 it says for he is our peace that's jesus who hath made both one and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us Ephesians 2.14, and so let's uh, go ahead and read some more of that context there, Ephesians 2, and get some, because this kind of continues on part of a sentence here, so Ephesians 2, and verse 14, read that to you really quick, so Ephesians 2.14, let's see, let's go back here, how far do we have to go back here? All right, so let's go back to verse 11. Actually, go back all the way to the beginning of verse of chapter 2, but don't really have time to read all that, so I'll start with uh, verse 11. It says, Wherefore, remember uh, that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands, that at that time ye were without Christ, being aliens, from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now, in Christ Jesus, ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. Amen. For he is our peace, who hath made both one and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us, having abolished in his flesh the enmity even the law of commandments contained in ordinances for to make in himself of twain one new man as or so making peace and that uh, he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross having slain the enmity thereby and came and preached peace to you which were far off and to them that were nigh amen so, uh, praise the Lord for Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. So, I wanted to give you some context there. All right, so now we'll get into the topic here. No wall of division. All right, so he writes here, During the last part of World War II, Allied leaders met in the uh, Cr Crimean uh, Peninsula at a resort a town called uh, Yelta. At y a l t a Yelta. Uh, the aim of this meeting was to essentially parcel 
out portions of Germany to the nations that had contributed most to the Nazis' defeat. The United States, Britain, France, and the Soviet Union. With the advent of the Cold War, however, Germany ended up being divided into two blocks, East and West Germany, with the Berlin Wall becoming a tangible separation. For nearly 30 years, the two Germanys remained at odds. Finally, in June 1990, the process of tearing down the wall began, and on 3rd October 1990, East and West Germany officially reunited to become one Germany. Amen. Uh, physical separation caused great challenges for the people of Berlin, but above the logistical and familial separation brought by the Berlin Wall, uh, there stands a massive separation between God and mankind, right? The middle wall of partition, Ephesians 2, 1 through 18, details how uh, because of our sin, we were separated from God, and as verse, verses 11 through 18 describe, the Gentiles were even uh, further alienated from God as they were strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. Verse 12, However, when the Lord Jesus Christ died for the sins of man on Calvary, he made it possible for all men, that's all, all means all, all men to have access to God. That This truth has incredibly wonderful ramifications. First and best, it means God has given us direct access to himself through Christ. Second, it means there should be no ethnic or racial divisions, as were common among the first century Jews and Gentiles, among the people of God. And finally, it means that we should do all we can to lead others to Christ, that they too may know the joy of reunification uh, with God. Amen. So, praise the Lord. So, that's a good uh, devotional. Amen. So, praise the Lord that he broke down that uh, middle wall, and Jesus Christ is the, tr the way, the truth, and life. No man coming to the Father but by him. Amen. Alright, so, that'll be it for the uh, devotions and now I'll go ahead and get into the hymn for today and this is titled the only sovereign of my heart and this is hymn 149 in the Psalms and hymns and spiritual songs book and it's a spiritual song the preciousness of Christ and this is written by Anne Steele who lived from 1716 to 1778 and then uh, writing as uh, Theodosa and then from Funk's uh, Her, 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 Mina, uh, Sacra, 1860. So play the instrumental sample and then read you the stanzas here. <clears throat> Excuse me. be easy one to do with the uh, instrumental. Alright, so let's try it. Thou only sovereign of my heart, my refuge, my almighty friend, and can my soul from thee depart, O whom alone my hope depends. dark world of sin and woe, one glimpse of happiness afford. That's in the form of a question. Stanza three. Eternal life 
thy words impart on thee my fainting spirit lives here sweeter come first cheer my heart than all the round of nature gives all right let earth alluring joys combine while thou art near in vain they call one smile one bliss full smile of thine my dearest lord outweighs them all amen stanza five two more stanzas thy name my in most powers adore thou art my life my joy my care depart from thee tis death tis more tis endless ruin deep despair All right last stanza feet my soul would lie here safely dwells and peace divine still let me live beneath thine eye for life eternal life is thine amen all right so that was this uh the hymn now you'll be the story here on the bottom all right so it says the firstborn daughter of william Steele. Baptist pastor of uh, Broughton, England, was exceedingly fond of rhyme from an early age. She was baptized at 14 into her father's congregation, where she remained until her death. The talented pen blossomed with a beautiful poetry, but the author withheld them from public view. After much encouragement, she conceded to their publication but only under a, a pseudonym, uh, th this, that's a dosa, a T H E O D O S I A, Theodosia, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, her earthly journey was one of great sacrifice, including the loss of her intended mere hours before the two would be uh, united. Um, she never. Uh, warmed again with mortal love, but rather delved uh, more earnestly into the divine. Hmm. So, there you go. That's the story there. And I'll give you the references. Alright, so stanza one, we have, um, I think that's Song of Solomon. S.O. Song of Solomon 510. And then John 6, uh, 68. And then stanza two, we have Psalm 139.7. And then Hebrews eleven twenty five, stanza three is one First uh, Peter one twenty three, and Romans fifteen thirteen, stanza four we have First Corinthians ten thirteen, and Second Timothy two four, stanza five is Ephesians one twenty one, and Ephesians two twelve, and then stanza six is Hebrews six eighteen, and First John five eleven. So that is the references and the end of the hymn for today. And tomorrow's hymn will be titled, I'd Rather Have Jesus. And this is hymn 150. We've already made it all the way to hymn 150 in the Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs book. So, amen. All right, got a long way to go for the end. but uh, So that's where we're at in the hymn book. So, praise the Lord. All right, now we'll go ahead and sing the scripture songs from yesterday and today. And make sure I figure out this correctly here. So here and make sure I do this right Psalms 98 1 oh, sing, sing unto, unto the Lord, Lord a new song for he, he hath done marvelous things his, his right hand and his, his holy arm have gotten him, him the victory, victory. amen oh, sing, sing unto the Lord sing unto the Lord Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. He hath done 
marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm hath gotten him the victory. Oh, sing, oh, sing unto the Lord. Sing unto the Lord. Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. For he hath done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm hath gotten him the victory. Oh, sing, sing, sing. Oh, sing, sing, sing. Oh, sing, sing, sing. Hey Amen. All right, now let's go back to Psalm today's. 115 3. But our, our God is, is in the heavens. heavens. He hath he done whatsoever so he hath pleased. pleased. Amen. But our God is in the heavens. He hath done whatsoever he hath done whatsoever he hath pleased. But our God is in the heavens, He hath done whatsoever, He hath done whatsoever, He hath pleased. But our God is in the heavens, He hath done whatsoever, He hath done whatsoever, He hath pleased. But our God is in the heavens, he had done whatsoever, he had done whatsoever, he had pleased. Amen. All right. Well, that'll be it for today's broadcast. But before I go, let me give you tomorrow's scripture song. And then the topics for the Baptist bread and boots on the ground. For the fourth, we have 1 Corinthians 13, 13. It says, And now abideth faith, hope, charity. These three, but the greatest of these is charity. And charity is love in action, showing people uh, by doing things for them that you love them. Not just saying that you love them, but actually putting into action. Amen. So uh, there you have it. That's tomorrow's scripture song. And lots about charity throughout that uh, chapter. And then I think the chapter after that. So amen. All right. So that's the scripture song. And then the topic for tomorrow's. Uh, Baptist Bread will be titled, A Full Boat, God's Plan. So, amen. And then we got Mark 4.37 is the um, verse there. And this is about the uh, storm that arose. And they're all in the boat. And then Jesus, I believe, was asleep on the boat. And then they all feared. So we'll find out more about that tomorrow. A Full Boat, God's Plan. Amen. And then the Boots on the Ground topic will be titled get there uh, so the, so let's see so tomorrow's the fourth and the topic is titled seeking peace and this takes place on October 4 1918 and the passage is James 1 excuse me James 4 1 through 3 so that will be tomorrow's topic for the boots on the ground and then tomorrow's hymn Again, is I believe it's titled, I'd Rather Have Jesus. Amen. And this is a more familiar one. At least uh, to me it is. I'm not sure if it might be to you. But this is Hymn 150 in the Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs book. So that will be tomorrow's uh, hymn. And that can be found on MelodyPublications.com. That's where you can order a copy of that book. And then we got the Scripture Songs book and CDs available on www.DailyScriptureSongs.com. And that's Brother Dean and Sister Patty's website, Missionaries in Port Kaituma, Guyana. So pray for them and all missionaries around the world. If you know somebody that I don't, pray for them. Amen. So and you too can be a bold witness in your own backyard uh, by going and telling somebody about Jesus today. Amen. Go door knocking. Go hand, hand out gospel tracts somewhere. Uh, go hold a sign on the street corner. Amen. So praise the Lord for that. And you too can do that if you're saved, that is. If you're not saved, well... Today is the day to get saved and have eternal life. Amen. All right, so that's that information. And then the Baptist Bread book. This is the cover from last month and this month. So if you order now, you'll get the one for November and December. And that's uh, available to order online at 
dot baptist spread dot com or www dot tim green ministries dot org and then we got the boots on the ground book here this is available on the internet so if you want to get a copy of that amen all right well that'll be it for today so uh thanks for watching and may the lord richly bless you until next time bye for now